I'm here. This is real. See this? This is this is really happening. I'm gonna make a whole video of what this is all about later. Hello, Frank Romero here, and today is February 10th. And as you can see, I've been a little bit busy over the last three weeks. I'll get into more details about um, what I've been doing and what's been taking up so much of my time. But for now, let's just get into the numbers. So my weight has basically stayed the same over the last three weeks and um, I'm at 200 pounds. You know, has it gone up a pound or two? Uh, yes, and it's also dropped um, a pound or two here and there. So uh, I'll say that for the most part, still at 200 pounds. I weighed myself this morning and that's where I was. Uh, I think that that number is probably going to start to go down uh, quickly as I increase my um, the amount of time I'm spending at the gym working out. The other numbers that I think I should share with you is my waist and shirt sizes. Um, as I had mentioned in my last video, uh, my clothes were starting to kind of fall off of me with the weight loss, um, especially my dress pants. They were bunching up in the back and it was kind of... Uh, didn't didn't look good. So I got new pants. Um, I'm in a 33 waist now and my shirts are um, like a 15 and a half or a 16 uh, neck. Um, so, you know, it's much better than the 18 and a half, 19 where I was. So, um, so I got new shirts, new pants, and I'm now in a... <clears throat> medium undershirt. So we've got my weight, we've got my clothes size. What about um, what I've been eating? I'm not going to go through every day for, uh, for the last three weeks, um, but I'll say most of the days, except for the time that I was in Paris, uh, I've been juicing my breakfast. Um, it's just easier for me I enjoy it. So breakfast has been either a smoothie or a juice of some sort. So as for lunch, I've been having either a small salad, um, about that big, the containers are fairly small, or I've been doing the, the juices or smoothies for, for lunch. So when it comes to dinner, that's probably where I will say the I start weighing in vegan versus pescatarian and um, I say right now I do primarily uh, vegan but over the last three weeks I have done some fish uh, for my my dinners. Really I'm okay with it. Um, like I said my, my goal wasn't to be this hardcore straight vegan uh, you know, I wanted to, for my health, um, I wanted to, you know, be more vegan than I have been. And I definitely think that I am, um, you know, am I 90% as I mentioned? Probably not. Uh, but it's it's where I want to be. So slowly but surely, uh, I'll start uh, removing some of the, um, you know, the seafood from my meals. And really, when I think about it, I really don't even put a lot in there. Um, it's it's almost like it really is psychological right now. <laughs> there's like there's no need for me to to put it in my meal, uh, but you know I'm making it for my daughter, um, and so I, I kind of will make some for myself as well. The seafood that I have been eating is. Primarily uh, shrimp, uh, salmon, um, scallops, mussels, clams, um, and lobster. Oh, <laughs> that lobster, it gets you. Um, so outside of that, I, I don't think that, um, again, not 100% vegan. That was never going to be the... Uh, that was never in the cards for me. Uh, but as far as being 90%, um, I still think that I have some work to do before I get there. All right. So that is out of the way. Let's talk about the um, what I've been doing for the last three weeks. As you saw from the intro, I've, uh, I was in Paris for work. 
And that was a big challenge. The challenges of being in France weren't just um, nutrition-wise. I also had some challenges of getting in my miles and my workouts. Well, um, I did get some... <laughs> Uh, I did get some workout in um, in France, but it was, uh, you know, I did one running session and I did a little bit of walking. That was pretty much it. Um, so that kind of hurt me as far as being able to hit my, my goals for January. Uh, so I missed my, my mileage. I actually logged 92.26 miles for the month of January. My goal was 100, so I came very close. Given that I was away uh, for an entire week, you know, um, it, I'm not beating myself up about it. And as far as the working out goes, you know, I've just been... Uh, so focused on trying to get my cardio in, uh, trying to build up my my endurance for um, some of the things that I'm going to be doing later on in the year, that I haven't been focusing on actually you know lifting any kind of weights or doing any kind of um, strenuous calisthenics or CrossFit or anything like that. Um, but like I said, um, that's going to be changing soon. If I could just get back to France real quick, the, the thing that I want to tell you about France is their portion sizes. Um, I think it's, it's just known that Americans are, you know, we're overindulgers. Uh, obviously, if you look at, you know, our society as a whole, we're just large, <laughs> right? We're just a big, everything about us is big. But in France, they're much smaller. Um, and, you know, their portion sizes, you know, if, if you go to a regular restaurant here, our portion sizes, our plates and the, the, what comes in our plates basically take up everything. You have a large starch. Um, you know, you have a lot of um, protein. And you have like a smidgen of of um, the micronutrients like uh, fruits and vegetables. But uh, in France, they did give you a more uh, balanced um, portion. Again, they didn't give a lot of vegetables. I actually have to order extra vegetables to, you know, kind of satisfy my need. But uh, their protein sizes uh, were much smaller than ours. Um, the starch was, it, you know, it was like 180 compared to what we do. Um, they were much smaller and <clears throat> that, and let me just give the, the caveat, that is strictly with their actual meals. Um, so they drink wine with everything. It's, it's either wine or coffee. It seems like that's all they were doing is drinking wine or coffee. I don't know if it's where I was, but I was in Paris and it seemed like there was a, that's all they were doing, drinking wine or coffee. I don't want to generalize everyone in France. You know, it's a, it's, it's a large country, but um, yeah, in Paris, that's, that's what I noticed. Um, and they have bread with everything. Uh, they had bread three times for one meal. And uh, that, that, that was a little bit strange for me. I did have some bread. Um, that's, that's the other thing that I did while I was in, in, uh, in Paris. I had wine and I had bread. Um, not proud of it, but it was, it was a good time. Um, I definitely can't wait to go back. It was an amazing experience. Um, you know, the people are friendly if you give them the chance to be friendly. Um, and I met a lot of great people, especially through work. Um, I made some some great connections and, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy that I got the opportunity to go. Um, the Louvre, and I know this is a health and fitness 
type uh, channel. But just real quick, the Louvre, if you've never been to the Louvre, just go. Like, put that on your bucket list. I can't wait to go back. I felt like I got robbed. I was there for only two hours, um, and I only sm saw the smallest portion of it. If you have the opportunity, if you... I don't, I don't even know if you need to be an art buff or anything like that. You just need to go just to... If you're, you're, if you're into architecture, if you're into art of any kind, you just need to... If you're into history... You should really go. Um, I know that it's easier said than done. I really hope that I get back there uh, sooner than later. Um, but this time I would like to take my family um, instead of going for work. But hey, can't complain. It was a, it was a great trip. What's funny is that um, I had joked with my boss that I wanted to bring my uh, juicer with me. And he said, oh yeah, go ahead, bring the juicer. And I thought... You know, I'm not going to bring the juicer, one, because I didn't want to have it broken, or and two, it's pretty big, right? Um, so I figured, you know, what I'll do is once I get there, I will just look for a fruit stand and try to get as much fruit as I possibly could um, to to kind of satisfy the fact that I wasn't going to be juicing. And... I was in a part of Paris called La Défense, and there was no, well, I'll, I'll just say that I didn't venture too far away from the hotel, um, and there was no produce shop anywhere in walking distance that I can go and, and get some um, fruits and vegetables. So basically, I, I kind of had to eat whatever the hotel had uh, available. Uh, I basically ate all the fruit that they had there and, uh, they did have this, uh, they made, they said it was fresh, uh, juice. Um, it was probably from concentrate, but, uh, who knows? Um, but it was, it was, it was like a tropical citrus juice that I, I drank a lot of. I can probably have a 40 minute video just on Paris, but, uh, I'll spare you those details. I'll just say that it was awesome and I had a great time. So where have I been for the last three weeks outside of Paris? Um, so Paris took up an entire week. The other two weeks, um, I've just been working and trying to get my bearings um, as far as my fitness goes. Um, because I have registered for a half marathon which will be in April. I've registered for a triathlon which will be in May and I registered for a um, the Tough Mudder which will be in June. Um, I know that I had mentioned that I was going to be doing the, some of those things probably not the half marathon because that just came up um, but in the last two weeks, I've actually registered, so I had to pay for my entrance fee. Um, and now it's time to prepare for those events. You know, I need to get my my cardio in, be able to uh, run uh, at least 10 miles. Um, I, they tell you that as long as you can run the 10 miles, the being in the atmosphere for the half marathon will get you the other three miles. So um, I don't know how much stock I'm putting into that. So I'm probably I'm going to be training for 13.1 miles. Um, you know, just today I ran 10 miles. So I'm not really too concerned about the half marathon and the tough mutter. What I am concerned about is the triathlon. It, I, honestly, it's been keeping me up. Um, just the amount of stress of the swim. I know I can run, I know that I can bike, but the swimming portion is, is the part that's giving me so much uh, uh, anxiety. So actually tomorrow will be my first day back into the pool um, in a long time. And I'll be, um, you know, hopefully getting back into a 
semi-decent shape <laughs> for for a triathlon in in a few months. In a future video, I'm I'm probably going to break down what I've been doing as far as um, preparation for the triathlon because that's the um, that's going to require a lot of um, commitment on my part, um, physical and uh, mental commitment. Um, so I would like to share my experience while I get ready for that. You know, the goal um, is basically not to die. I know, it's it sounds crazy, but yep, that's my goal. Uh, I don't have a goal to, I don't have any expectation of finishing, you know, in the top percentage within my uh, age group or my weight class or whatever it is. Um, I just want to, you know, really don't want to come in last and I don't want to die. So, um, and I, I think I mentioned that for some of the other events, uh, but that's that's kind of where I'm at with the, the triathlon. Um, so I think that if I put in the work, I'll be fine. And I'll be sharing that experience with you as well. All right. I know that this has been a fairly long video. I didn't want to make it too long, but I figured, uh, you know, three weeks, I, I haven't had the opportunity to actually record. Much. So, all right. So before I go, there are three people out there that I'd like to give a shout out to. Uh, so number one, Fluffy Girl No More. I'm so glad that you're back. You had me worried. I didn't know what was going on, but I'm glad that you're back. And I'm sorry to hear about your situation with your computer. And I'm super proud of you. Can't believe you're, you're, you look amazing. Person number two, Ben. Uh, you're awesome, man. You are absolutely awesome. You need to forget about all that negativity that people are throwing your way and you are way harder on yourself than anyone else is i i do the same thing so don't 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 beat yourself up um i love your attitude i think that the your approach to your uh transformation is absolutely spot on um you know going at 30 days giving yourself a little bit of a break and then just getting back on it um, the only recommendation that I would give you is just to get back on. Um, the videos, they're great, um, but your focus should be on your health, your fitness, what you're eating, what you're drinking. If you have the time to make those great videos, do it, man. But as far as everything else... That should be number one. You should be number one. So um, kind of push out all that negativity that um, comes your way. And I, I'm going to agree with you for the for the people that uh, had the negative comments to you. Kind of just, you know, I, I don't get it either. Um, I, feel, I feel terrible that you had to go through that. But, you know, hopefully you understand that, you know, that's just part of life. You're going to have some, uh, some haters out there, but you look amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. And last but not least, my boy, Kevin, great job, man. I'm really proud of you. Also, you're, you're, I could see how much you you're losing in your face. Um, I don't know if it's the lighting, the special effects lighting that you're using, but you look great. I hope that over the next couple of weeks, we can get together and uh, I can open the door to CrossFit. I know you're not the happiest about the high intensity um, training, but I think if you if you give it a chance and you really um, understand the community aspect of CrossFit, that you're gonna fall in love with, with it as just as much as I have. So I'm not trying to push anything on you, but just saying. If you uh, if you want to, you know, try it. I think we we should meet up one of these weekends and um, um, maybe go to a gym. I can I could go to you or you could come up here. I don't know when the next time you're going to be uh, in the area, but Mikasa is su casa. All right, that's it. Um, sorry for such a long video. I appreciate you watching and don't forget to subscribe. 
if you haven't subscribed already, and leave some comments. Let me know what you think. All right, that's it. I will see you when I see you, hopefully next weekend. All right. Stay healthy.